Hello everybody, my name is Craig Bennett and today I'm going to get into a video on digital forensics and let's say for example you did something stupid. The cops came over, they got a warrant, they got your computer, laptop, whatever, maybe the thumb drives, I don't care what it is, but some digital type of device and they need parts off of it, they need to figure out if there's any criminal evidence on there that, that may be connects with their case and that way they can lock you up or maybe go further with their case in some some point so with that in mind how does that happen and that's what I'm going to show you in this video today now before we get into this I want to mention right now this is what I'm in class for right now this particular semester and this is a test video to see if people are even interested into this content at all if you are, great, let me know in the comments section and, and leave a like, subscribe, or whatever if you haven't already. But if you aren't, then also let me know. Um, and, and if you just don't care, then, you know, do whatever. So with that in mind, let's uh, jump on in. So what I'm going to be using is Pro Discover, And uh, this is a program that is used by some... There, there's a few different programs like this, uh, so note that this is not the only one. But as far as this goes, what I would do is go in one, two, three for project number and just A for project name, really doesn't matter. And as far as here, what would happen if, um, all right, you, you, your computer, it got confiscated by the cops. It went through the red tape and whatever, and it somehow landed on my desk and I have to take a look at it. Well, how would I make an image of it so I can investigate it? Well, what I will do is I will hook it up to my machine by whatever tools I have. And from that point, what I'll do is go to capture image. I'll select the actual so thumb drive or hard drive or whatever that's connected. And then from here, say where I want the image to be located at. So with this, I'm just going to choose that and just give it a simple name. I'm not actually going to do this, but um, if I wanted to split and what this basically means is if um, the image is going to be way too big or maybe I want to archive it for some reason like portions of it for some reason what I can do is split it up and that way it makes it easier for a person to investigate it or maybe just simply like say for example they confiscated your computer your computer has like I don't know a four billion terabyte hard drive, and I got a normal hard drive in my computer. Well, the fact is, is I cannot put all that on mine, so I got to split it and basically put it in CDs and whatever it may be. So note that. Um, now, as far as that, to so go down here, we got again name, number, whatever it may be, and we go from there. Now, open up a previous image. What I'll do is just go to the image and um, go to wherever it is, and we're just opening up from there. I'm going to open up uh, two images, and uh, that way I can show you something. And we're just going to open up the first one. So from here, what we're going to do is let's go to the uh, this particular one and what we're seeing here is what was on that person's hard drive or thumb drive or whatever it may be. Now one thing you may be noticing is symbols, different symbols. So what we have here is anything with an X and, uh, and, and that it, it means it's deleted and as you see here you can see deleted. So we can actually recover some of this stuff if we wanted to we can actually go ahead and look at some of this stuff right here so even though and, and I got into this in previous videos because if you delete something from a, and, and, and the actual video that I got into is this is where if you delete something off of like a camera on accident uh, or you know you had a kid go through and it do something stupid well how do you get the information back uh, I if I can find a video I will link it down below so you can check a look at it but nothing is actually deleted until it's rewritten. And um, sometimes it takes several times to fully rewrite. Now, as far as this goes, what we have here is, is basically what you can look in this um, Excel file. 
in in some cases like if we go ahead and try open it up i want to show you the error because it opened up on my other screen and this is the error that came out blah 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 and this is the actual what was in that uh, file so we can actually get sheets and whatever it is and whatever that was recovered from there um, so we got that. So uh, it's very important to note that uh, we we can actually open up some of this stuff, especially if it's um, if it's um, has enough behind it. Now, obviously, we'll, we'll probably go in something like pictures and, and take a look at some stuff. But let's say, for example, if I want to search for particular things, um, we're going to be searching for a actual file name. So if I want to search for something like my the, the file name, like say for example, DSCF0153, I don't know um, the, the the suspect said, oh, uh, I saved it as this, and this proves me innocent. So what I can do is, so uh, um, the this is what the file name is, and we're going to search by file names, and what I need to do is select the actual uh, image since I got multiple images up I need to select the image that they're talking about and we're going to go ahead and okay and and so we got it right here so as far as this goes um, we know it's a JPEG image and this is a analyst a, a, analy down here and we can actually get information down here so for example like this JPEG we can see that this is the type of JPEG that it has that, that that it is. And if I double click on this, it actually takes me to the location. And if I want to actually see the image itself, I can do a view and give it a second or two and it loads up with the person's motorcycle. So what we can say is, um, I don't know, the person says, oh this image should clear me from whatever and we can say oh yes it does or it doesn't or or whatever it may be um you know if, if they knew the file name itself there's other <coughs> other things you can do so for example if i wanted to i can actually go in here and search for some other stuff um but it's fairly important to note uh that you that you um pick the actual right one so what we're going to be doing here is I'll be looking up uh, this person's name and um, we're just going to do search all matches and pick the right one and see if their name pops up and it looks like their name popped up in this one so in this one image we could what we can see is oh this is a uh, excel file we can actually see some information in the header um so if we go up here and we can actually see stuff in a header go all the way down and we can see stuff in a footer um and, and see if there's anything crucial that we should know about that so say for example with this particular image the person killed himself they have a suicide note um and and you know it's whatever and we got a uh, you know a, another file and this is just a pure example and we don't know if it's an actual suicide or not but this was left on them so what would end up happening is we would actually take a look at this and see if there's anything suspicious about it because maybe it was framed it was looked like that was a suicide and um, the person wasn't smart enough or or they had the understanding for the header and the footer on how to mess with that. But uh, say that everything looks good and whatever, what we can do is go ahead and open that up and take a look at it and uh, see, okay, this, this person, uh, this is what was in the Excel file. And um, as we can see here, it, uh, it wasn't deleted. Um, it, it wasn't deleted at all, whereas Taking a look at these others, most of them are deleted. It's very important to note that. So, um, so if you go something like here, as you see here's uh, this file wasn't deleted, but this one was. Now, as far as things goes, um, this is just a very basic overview on here. 
But um, let's say, for example, we want to copy it to a disk. Uh, m maybe put it on their thumb drive or whatever it may be. So, I don't know, maybe we're doing some investigation on the cartel, and the cartel is notorious of, you know, being the cartel. So what we'll do is, um, is, is have backups of it just in case. So what I will do is go to that and go to um, copy image to disk and, and, and just go that method and that way I can put it on an error disk. One thing I want to note before uh, we head off is the actual thing does show the reports. So for example, right here with the first file with the motorcycle, what we can take a look is information behind it, but I want to get a little bit more uh, specific. It says for the last one, we searched for the following, and this was the actual specific uh, th thing. Specifically, we were interested into the uh, following file into there, so we can actually see that. And, and, and a as we do more things out through here, all this stuff would actually um, expand. And this is fairly important notes because um, what what would end up happening in the real world is as you're doing your job, if you're an investigator, that that will expand, but a single project would be a single case. So you might have, I don't know, the person's um, phone, the person's computer, the person's whatever, it may be connected to the system so you can scan all that in and do the images and, and and search through them and what that will do is tell you what image had what uh what what you were interested in specific, as an investigator and and that way you can actually see interested points of it so say for example you could decide to go on vacation and you come back and, and you forgot most of what you were working on at least to a finite detail you at least have a, a you know something to kickstart your brain and say, oh, this is what I was looking at last time, like three weeks ago, or maybe depending on your your vacation. So as far as that goes, uh, that's something to note. Um, if you're interested in this type of content, uh, for me to get deeper into this, let me know and I'll see what I can do. But uh, leave a like, subscribe, share, and what it may be. And if you're not interested in it at all, then also let me know. But if you just don't care, then, you know, do whatever. But uh, I'll see you next video. Hope you have a great day.